Before you consider renewing T-Spots, you probably want to know how the current T-Spots 1 monies are being used. In the city of Roswell, money collected via the T-Spots 1 tax is funding several large and much needed transportation projects approved by Roswell residents in 2016. Let's take a look at where we are with each of those existing Tier 1 T-Spots 1 projects. Rucker Road the Rucker Road Complete Street Project was a partnership with the City of Alpharetta, and as of summer 2021, this project is 100% complete. Rucker Road was reconstructed from the Alpharetta city limits to the Artem Mill Road, House Road intersection. The project added turn lanes and a multi-use path along both sides of the corridor. Big Creek Parkway. The goal of the Big Creek Parkway project is to provide an alternative to the Holcomb Bridge Road interchange for travelers going between East and West Roswell. The project will create a new two-lane roadway across Georgia 400 from Walsall Road to Old Alabama Road, including a new bridge over Georgia 400 and the rebuild of an existing bridge over Big Creek on Old Holcomb Bridge Road. The Big Creek Parkway project includes two phases. Phase 1 is an intersection improvement project at Holcomb Bridge Road and Warsaw Road. Utility relocation has begun. The actual construction is still a few months away while we wait for all utility providers to move their infrastructure out of the way of the project. Phase 2 connects Warsaw Road all the way across Georgia 400 to Old Alabama Road. This phase will also address the Old Holcomb Bridge Road Bridge Replacement Project which was initially another Tier 1 T-Spots 1 project of its own and involves the replacement of a weight-restricted bridge on Old Holcomb Bridge Road over Big Creek. For Phase 2 of the Big Creek Park project, we're using what's called a design-build process. Design-build is a method of a project delivery in which one entity called the Design-Build Team works under a single contract to finish the design and deliver construction under one unified flow of work. Advantages of this method are lower final project costs and faster project delivery because the design build team is able to work on different phases of the project simultaneously. We hope to have a design build team on board in late 2021. We would expect to see utility relocation and the start of some construction activities in the spring of 2022. Holcomb Bridge Road Interchange With more than 70,000 vehicles per day, Holcomb Bridge Road is the most heavily traveled east-west corridor north of Interstate 285. As Roswell's only access to Georgia 400 currently, Holcomb Bridge Road creates significant traffic congestion at the interchange and is one of the city's largest transportation challenges. The goal of the Holcomb Bridge Interchange T-Spots project is to fund reconstruction of the interchange and the bridge over Georgia 400. To this end, in 2019, the City of Roswell entered into a formal agreement with the Georgia Department of Transportation, GDOT, for the reconstruction of the interchange as part of GDOT's Georgia 400 Express Lane project, which is currently being designed. As part of this agreement, the City of Roswell has committed $15 million towards the reconstruction of the interchange, and GDOT will contribute $23 million. Construction of the Georgia 400 Express Lane project, of which this will be part, is expected to start in spring 2022. Historic Gateway Enhancements The City of Roswell Historic Gateway Enhancements T-SPAS project is an important part of a larger Georgia Department of Transportation project to address the dangerous stretch of State Route 9, South Atlanta Street that runs between State Route 120 Marietta Highway and the bridge over Chattahoochee River. This stretch of road, also known as the Reversible Lanes, is among the top five corridors for crashes in the Atlanta region. The redesign of this road involves removing the Reversible Lanes and constructing a narrow four-lane street that would accommodate all users. The street will have two lanes in both directions, multi-use trails and sidewalks for pedestrians and bicycles, raised medians, and planting strips for more than 200 trees to help restore and enhance the existing tree canopy. While state and federal funding will cover the majority of the cost of the project, the City of Roswell is contributing $3 million through T-SPOTS 1 funds for enhancements to the reconstruction, such as improved lighting, enhancements to the National Park Service property, 
and additional design costs. To select enhancement most desired by our community, Roswell City Council created a Citizens Advisory Committee to make recommendations. That community involvement effort has been well underway, while GDOT has been going through the right-of-way acquisition process for this project. Once that process is complete and GDOT established construction funding, construction of the project is estimated to begin in the spring or summer of 2023. The project is expected to take 24 to 36 months to build. Atlanta Street Oxbow Road Intersection After many delays, the Atlanta Street Oxbow Road Intersection project is underway. If you've driven by the Oxbow Road site recently, you may have noticed very visible activity at the site. There is construction work being done on the project. Utility relocation by Georgia Power and other utility companies is finishing up. Our contractor has also brought in fill and has begun grading for the upgrades to the intersection. The tentative date for completion of this project is winter 2022. Funds generated from TSPLOS 1 are expected to be around $84 million for Roswell by the time TSPLOS 1 expires in March 2022. This referendum has presented an unprecedented opportunity for the city of Roswell and other participating North Fulton cities to address critical transportation projects for our region. If TSPLOS 2 is approved, we may have an opportunity to tackle even more needed projects in the future, as TSPLOS 2 could generate an additional 70 to 80 million over the next five years for Roswell projects. For more information on TSPLOS 1, visit www.roswellgov.com slash TSPLOS 1.